What's up? What's good? What's going on, family? So I want to jump on really quick and get a quick you versus them. My children, they are playing. They are right outside this window. So please excuse them having the best time of their life. Let's see, Spirit. Let's, this is going to be for your Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as at Ninth House. Very particular messages here on the Mandula Awakening for your Ninth House. But even with that being said, guys, let's just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest. All right, Spirit, can I please get a three-card spread for you versus them? Can you please show me how my Sagittarian Ninth House Collective is showing up inside of this situation? Can you please show me how the other person is showing up inside of this connection? And then what is the state of this connection at this current time? Thank you. So how you're showing up is the hermit. So you could be affected by Virgo, not necessarily. You could just be in solitude, not really participating or showing up in this connection at this time. How the other person is showing up inside of this connection is the judgment. This person is making some sort of final decision after some sort of self-evaluation here. <clears throat> what is the current state of this connection here? So we have the eight of cups here. So the current state, I do feel like that there has been this ending here, the two of swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like that the two of the connection I'm speak, talking about, there's no communication here at this time in this connection. None. I don't feel like that there's much communication with the current state being the eight of cups. I feel like that there's an, I mean, yeah, the current state being the eight of cups. I do feel like that there's an uncertain, like the current state is there's an uncertainty as to which direction this connection is about to go in. But I also feel like that there's still like there's, I'm, I'm being honed in to this particular ace of cups in this eight of cups it does still have the heart on there so i do feel like that the two of you all still have a lot of heart for one another and i do feel like that this person is currently in the process of approaching if i'm going to be honest i do feel like that this person is making some sort of final decision that they have i, I don't know this judgment is renewal energy so this person is in the state of renewing something let's dive in and see what this is Let's see, Spirit. Can you please clarify the Eight of Cups for the current state of this connection? Can you please clarify the Eight of Cups for the current state of this connection? All right, family, apologies, apologies. Let's see what this Eight of Cups is for the current state of this particular connection today. What is the current state of this connection? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Can you please bring clarity? The Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. I definitely feel like that there has been some sort of, there is some disharmony within this connection, and I do feel like that it fueled some some spiteful behavior, if I'm going to be honest with you. I do feel like that it fueled some spiteful behaviors. There was some misalignment. I do feel like that who the two of you all are in an argument here. Um, I do feel like that there has been discontent within a family dynamic or a loving a dynamic that you see seen happiness in, your Ten of Cups. I feel like that the two of you all have taken a temporary break from this situation here. And I do feel like that um, whatever... Whatever is the cause of this Ten of Cups, I do see that jealousy and um, bitterness and spitefulness, revenge played a lot into it. And it and, and has put some delays in stalled out movement here inside of this connection. However, if I'm going to be honest with you, it does look like someone is about to take action on kickstarting, on restarting this here situation okay yeah look the two of cups i definitely yeah i definitely feel like that there was a necessary separation but i feel like that there is someone that is about to kick start this um uh, rekindling here i actually want to start with your person this person is showing up as the judgment and i feel like that that's exactly who's about to kick start this 
not only because the judgment is someone that has done some self-evaluation and has made a final decision based off of that evaluation, but also because um, on this particular Eight of Cups, that Ace of Cups is on this side of the board. And that's where your person is. So I do feel like that this person didn't really put in the effort to stop you from withdrawing your energy from this connection. But I do feel like that this person is recognizing that they that that's not the choice. I don't know. Let's see. What is the judgment here? Um, the, the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, in the will of fortune yeah i'm telling you the lovers in the will of fortune i definitely feel like that this is a faded once in a lifetime type of um relationship and i don't i do feel like that this person is trying to hold on to this situation i do feel like that this person has made a decision to hold on to this connection i do feel like that this person does have some fears and anxiety that played into this person being guarded and not trusting the flow I do feel like that this person has fears and anxiety as it pertains to this connection. What is the energy of the lovers here? What is the energy of the lovers? The eight of wands, the five of cups, and the six of wands. Um, Yeah, this person definitely is coming in to reconcile with you. The Eight of Wands to the Five of Cups to the Six of Wands. This person does have some sort of anxiety, fears, or doubts that you guys are going to be able to move past. Like, are you guys actually going to be able to make peace with what is taking place and move forward? This person is hopeful for that. And I do feel like that they're at least going to come in and offer some sort of communication as it pertains to this. This person does want to have some sort of victory and success. They do want to overcome the conflict and strife between the two of you all. However, this person does have fears and anxiety if the two, as, as it pertains to if you guys are going to be able to move past what has already taken place. So I got my, I got my collective showing up as the um, hermit card. Um, this particular hermit, it is labeled as contemplation. Let's see. Why is my collective showing up as contemplation? Why is my Sagittarian Ninth House Collective showing up as the hermit card here? Thank you, Spirit. So we have the Two of Wands, the Magician, and the Tower card. Um, I, I, there's some sort of manifesting. There's some sort of request. Um, how you're showing up in this connection is the Hermit. You are withdrawn. I do feel like that you have pulled back your energy trying to figure out which direction you want to go in. I feel like that this person at this time has more certainty as to which direction they want to go in than you do. I do see that both the challenge for the two of you all is Gemini energy. This person had the lovers in the challenge in position. You have the magician in the challenge in position. So this person has a choice that they need to act on. And there's a communi there's some communication. There's some there's communicating of your plans. There's communication that needs to be perfected here between this entire com uh, connection. This person has to be better about communicating their choice. This one over here has to be able about communicating their plans. There's a challenge. Someone has a plan. Someone has a choice. Someone's plan may be someone. I don't know. Let me see. I mean, both of you all have minor arcanas plus two powerful major arcanas. This person has the magician in the Wheel of Fortune. Um, I'm sorry, they have the lovers in the Wheel of Fortune. You have the magician in the Tower card. So if I'm going to be honest with you, I do feel like that who I'm speaking to has withdrawn your energy from this connection and is actively manifesting in a change. There's, there's definitely a change that you're manifesting in. You're desiring some sort of change. Um, but I do feel like that there is a need to really perfect or your spirit is encouraging the level of communication to be addressed here within this situation. What is this tower? The Ten of Pentacles. 
So what you're like, this radical changes, like um, your plans need to like, there is a more long-term plan that needs to be devised or it needs to be developed here for wands. Yeah. What's the magician here? The anxiety. Yeah. I feel like that someone, I feel like that the person that I'm speaking to is manifesting from a place of, from anxious anxiety. I think that both of you are plagued by anxiety and fear. I feel like that you are planning from that place. This person is afraid to make a choice from that place. What's the nine of swords? Nine of swords and the magician. Yeah, the king of cups. Someone's trying to remain diplomatic about this entire situation. It's like, I'm going to be honest with you, Sagittarius, whatever it is that you're trying to contemplate, I do feel like that you are trying to consider this person, but whatever way you're considering them, it's actually causing you to, it's causing you some anxieties and fears, which is causing you to play yourself small, manipulate yourself. And I definitely feel like that you're ultimately making choices and like you're planning without putting your desires and concerns at the center of the, on the plate, even at all. Because you're so consumed with trying to accommodate this other energy. So I do feel like that while you have withdrawn from this situation, I still feel like that when you look at it and you're still and when you're planning, I do feel like that you're forgetting to incorporate your true desires here. There's a need to really pay attention to what it is that you're watering here in this connection because you may be putting yourself on the back burner here. What's the King of Cups? Yeah, the Eight of Swords. You're keeping yourself in some sort of self-imposed imprisonment, trying to be overly diplomatic. I mean, of course, I want you to be diplomatic. Yeah, but it's like you're putting the final sword in your own back. What likely actions will this person, this person that's showing up as the judgment, what likely actions will this person be taking towards my collective here? The nine of pentacles in the reverse, baby, they ain't getting ready to let this go. The nine of pentacles in the upright is to decide to be single. When it's in the reverse, this is deciding to, um, to heal and rejuvenate the situation. Clarify the nine of pentacles in the reverse. The knight of swords. Yeah, they're going to come in pretty fast. They may have some very sharp words. They may come in kind of forceful. temperance. It's going to require some tempering here. This person is coming in fast to try to heal the situation. Yeah, this person is going to definitely be rushing in to try to heal the situation. I do feel like that this person ended up more wounded than they recognized. Okay, so what is this person's expression to Sagittarius? This could possibly be a Cancer, a Gemini, a Sagittarius, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Someone could need to do some writing. Escape. Um, when I left when things got hard. I definitely feel like that things hit a stalemate and it was definitely due to the page. I mean, the queen of wands in the reverse and the queen of wands in the reverse is this self-centered energy overly like overbearing, overly sensitive, very jealous, like very codependent like behavior. And I do feel like that this person decided to take the easy route out. And I feel like that this person took off running in another direction, but I definitely feel like that this is someone that is about to come in and make a major expression. Um, I do feel like that this person may have some fears and concerns as to what others may think about them. What is the expression? Um, this over here is given Virgo, um, Scorpio, Gemini energy. What is the expression from that? Damage. 
It says we are both hurting from this. Detachment. I had to let go of this so I could clear my mind. Um, in my lap, I do have Pluto. So I've got Pluto in my lap. And then I've got Gemini, Leo, and Capricorn. All right, guys, I absolutely love you. I hope that this message was able to offer you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonates and you would like to see a more extended version, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button down below. Please, peace, love, and light.